green spirit awakens within and points toward our new dawn, friend, altering forever Florida's future for water, for plants, for creatures and kin. Leading our way are wise residents, cities, and county people, employees, elected state and local officials. Welcome to our new green Florida, where preserving green spaces for waterways, wildlife, plants, and people is a greater priority and more personally fulfilling than selling off Florida's remaining green spaces. Welcome to our new green Florida, where children and their folk have a place to play and swim, where dolphin and wildlife swim in clear, clean water, where people stand in awe, their spirits proud within. You know, the, the history of this property is it was used as, uh, as a dump site for construction, demolition, debris, and for a long period really as a, as a um, solid waste uh, disposal area back in the days before permitting was acquired. And uh, so when the city went, uh, you know, I, I got assigned to reconcile the property with the state of Florida. And uh, when the, at the very first meeting, uh, I laid down our position uh, as a city. And our position was that we wanted to get a permit to close the landfill and uh, properly cap it and uh, do all the things that could reclaim the land. And uh, DEP was very surprised um, because, you know, typically these, these projects are very expensive and you're getting into a lot of unknown and there's financial risk. And uh, they said, well, uh, hold on, you know, you, you're an environmental engineer, you've been doing this a long time, you know, uh, and, and you know as well as we do that you could delay and confuse this topic for many, many years and avoid spending money on the property. I said, I, I think you're missing the bigger picture. The issue is we're not closing a landfill. We are building a park. And that was in 2005, I believe that was when we started, about 2005, 2006. Uh, and so we're building a park. And I, the, the issue here is that this property, this uh, dump, if you will, uh, was at the confluence of the San Sebastian River with the Intercoastal Waterway. And uh, I said, we've already run some uh, construction numbers. Uh, where in the world can you uh, buy 10 acres of land at the confluence of rivers uh, and build a park uh, for, for under a million dollars? You can't do it. And I said, we, our vision is that this is our Battery Park, if you will. It's metaphorically very similar to Battery Park. Battery Park in Manhattan was a dump too, by the way, and was reclaimed land. Uh, so, um, you know, it's at the tip of the peninsula. And so from the very first day, the goal was to build a park. So um, a lot of time went by and uh, a lot of unforeseen things that popped up during the design and construction. We had to be very innovative. Um, I think the biggest was that we were surprised by the DEP, uh, Florida Department of Environmental Protection, that required um, armament at the base in the flood stages, uh, Hurricane 1 flood stages. So if you go around the property, you'll see the white uh, rubble, the riprap. And uh, that was projected to be, oh, probably about a $900,000 unforeseen cost. Uh, and uh, so time went on. Um, I called up the contractor for the Bridge Alliance and asked what were you going to do with the temporary bridge. And they said, we're going to haul it to Jacksonville. I said, well, why don't you haul it down, give it to us, uh, we'll uh, process all the material, uh, we'll process the steel, we'll reclaim the, the concrete, and we'll um, use that as our, as our riprap. And the carbon footprint savings by uh, not having them haul that much material to Jacksonville and not having us to import so much material that amount of money, that, that, that lowers your carbon footprint because you're transporting materials much shorter distances. So the, uh, the materials that you see here are also reclaimed materials and recycled materials, particularly the temporary bridge alliance. And uh, so I think that's kind of neat. So over time, you know, the issue is when you build a park, what are you going to put in it? <laughs> and so we've been through uh, some different iterations about uh, what that should be, whether it should have, you know, more active uses, um, 
or more passive uses, but the goal has always been to build a park. And uh, it, it worked out the way that we planned. Um, you know, we, we had a, a reasonable construction. Uh, we have 10, 11 acres that people are falling back in love with that had previously been pretty um, unremarkable property. And uh, we're on the path now to build a park. Uh, we have a resolution uh, that's coming up on our next city commission meeting to even name it after uh, one of our major civil rights heroes, uh, Dr. Uh, Hanley. Um, so I think it's kind of interesting for me as an environmental engineer that we've reclaimed land, uh, we've recycled materials, we even use reclaimed water to irrigate for the plantings here from the adjacent uh, water reclamation facility. Uh, and um, this land that had been um, unremarkable um, now will become, um, will honor one of the greatest heroes of our, uh, of our time in St. Augustine.